Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the strainer and gasket from a SunTech A pump. I removed the pump from the burner for demonstration purposes only. Uh, the pump has the A pump has four bolts and those will be removed. The bolt size is 5 16 and for demonstration purposes I pre-loosened the bolts for you. Uh, with those removed sometimes the uh, cover will come off easy. It'll just pop off. Uh, it'll fall off. Uh, sometimes you need to just tap it a little bit with the hammer. Make sure that you have some sort of a pan underneath uh, because there will be residual oil inside there and uh, you don't want to get it all over the floor. Um, at this point you will take the cover off and you will wipe the inside of the cover of all debris. If you'd like you could soak it and put some cleaner and get it really really clean. Um, then you'll check around the cover to make sure there's no gasket material. If there is you can scrape that away and remove that. Then you'll take off the strainer itself and that's what the strainer looks like when it comes off. You'll put that aside and the next thing you will do is you will remove the gasket. Uh, sometimes the gasket comes off easy. It'll just peel off. Sometimes you need uh, something to help it along and you can use a small putty knife and you can get underneath and peel the gasket back. Once you have it peeled back, you'll move that aside. Again, you can wipe the area where the gasket was, give it a visual check, make sure that there is no gasket material left on there. If there is, again, you can use a razor blade, sandpaper, or a little putty knife and you can remove that uh, excess gasket material. All right, in the kit that HVACRsupplynow.com uh, will uh, give you, in the kit will be a new gasket and a new strainer. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put the new gasket on. Just make sure when you put it on you line up all the holes uh, for the bolts to go through. Then you will put the strainer on like so and you will take your cover put it back onto the pump put your four bolts back in like so and you will tighten those bolts up. What I'd like to do is I like to go on a star pattern and I tighten that first one. I go to the upper and I will tighten that hand tight. Then I'll go down to the bottom. I'll tighten that hand tight and then to the top and the final one. And I'll tighten that hand tight. Uh, as far as the torque, um, just tighten it enough that you have no oil leaks. That's, that's really all you need to do. And tighten them up. And you are done. You are complete. And that's how you change a um, trainer and the gasket on a SunTech A-Pump. Thank you.